you deserve to go to hell. Yes, you that's watching this video clicked on it. You deserve to go to hell. I deserve to go to hell. The whole world deserves to go to hell. And some of you might feel sick right now after me telling you that, right? Because you're like, dude, like, who are you to tell me if I'm going to hell or not? But don't shoot the messenger. I'm just telling you what the Bible says. In Revelations chapter 21, verse 8, it says, but the cowardly, the unbelieving, the abominable, the murderers, the sexually immoral, the sorcerers, the idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the, in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Let's be real here. That includes everyone in that verse, right? I mean, we have all lied before. What do you call someone who tells lies? A liar. So you're a liar already. Another one is sexual morality, right? If you ever looked at a person with lust, you've already committed adultery in your heart. That's what Jesus says. You are Jesus's words in Matthew 5. And it still may not be clicking for some of you, right? Some of you might be saying, might be saying Gabriel, but God's going to forgive me. Gabriel, I'm a good person. I don't do that stuff anymore. That's in my past, right? Or whatever, right? But let's give you an analogy, right? I want to give you one. Imagine you're in a court of law, right? And you have tons of speeding tickets super high up the mountain and you have no money to pay for these tickets no matter what you can tell the judge you can tell the judge i'm sorry you can tell the judge i won't do it again you can tell the judge judge i'm a good person i've done the best i could or i've done other good things the judge is going to say that's cool and all but who's going to pay for these tickets so imagine god imagine how many sins we committed against god we have to be held accountable for all the sins that we committed against him right even the ones that we had in our thoughts the one that we committed right because there's some sins that we might not consider a sin but to, to God, they are. So you are in big trouble. All of us are, right? I mean, like, we're pretty hopeless in this situation, right? So it's not our good works that get us into heaven because God says our, our good deeds are like filthy rags, right? And we're not trying to bribe him either. So what are we supposed to do? Many people know about this, but they don't know how to apply it. Everyone has heard of Jesus before. Everyone heard of the same old message. Jesus died on the cross. He rose from the dead. But they don't apply that to their lives. Oh yeah, Jesus died for the people that are really bad. Right, but I'm not that bad. But that's not the truth. Everyone is bad because God said that in John 3, 16, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Let's go back to the speeding tickets, right? Like you have nothing. You're hopeless. You have no money. But then here comes Jesus says, I'll pay for your tickets. And later, the money on the table he pays for all of your tickets and now the judge can say you're free to go because someone paid the punishment for the crimes that he committed and in romans 6 23 the bible describes it as a gift from god it is a gift it is up to you to accept it i have this duck right here right it is up to you to take this duck right i can't force you to take it. it's up to you to reach out your hand and take this how do you accept this free gift of god you might ask you must repent turn away and put your trust in jesus pretty much making jesus the lord of your life you are no longer lord jesus is jesus is the one that calls the shots that might be hard for some of you guys because you guys are like but gabriel i, I don't want to give up this relationship right this relationship that doesn't honor god i don't want to give this up gabriel i have so many i have careers i have goals and i think god's going to conflict that but are you really going to let these things really hinder you from accepting this free gift of god like think about it i want you to really think about it tonight right and make that decision make that decision because you have no idea when or how you're gonna die right i mean we all expect to live up to like 80 or 90 right i mean that's the hope right but we have no, that's not even promised for us tomorrow's not promised life is here today and it's gone the next so really think about this because remember at the end of the day someone has to pay for your sins either it's going to be you or jesus praise god peace